there's... <laughs> Is it on? There we go. If there's any other kids that haven't made their way down, come on down and join us for a children's moment. I love this excitement this morning. All right. While I make my way over, I want to see a show of hands. Who has a pet? Oh, my goodness. Look at all these. Okay. Miss Gwen's going to come sit right up here. Okay. So, I want to know, what do you provide for your pet so that they have a good life? Okay, Clara? Food and water? Playing with them? What was it? Brushing them. Having owners? What about you? Um, let them go outside. Let them go outside? What you got? Go into the vet, okay? Two more. Um, throw, the ball to them. <laughs> throw the ball to them. Um, <coughs> pet them and love them. Yeah, those are all great things to provide a good life for our pet. Now I want you to think about which ones are wants for your pets and which ones are needs for your pets. Do you think going to the vet is a want or a need? A need. Do you think throwing the ball for your pet is a want or a need? Want. Yeah. Okay. So just like we like to provide for our pets, God provides for us. And today we're going to talk about a story in the Bible where God provided for a family. So this story comes from 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 through 7. And in this story we see a woman asking a prophet for help. Who knows what a prophet is? It's like the Bible and what you're reading. Okay, so just so that you know what a, uh, we can all be on the same page, a prophet is someone who speaks directly with God and then gives that message to others. So what we see here is a woman has lost her husband. He went to heaven. And during this time, the husbands were pretty much the main income, right? They paid all the bills. They made sure that they had food on the table. So this woman and her two sons are left with no income. And a, a creditor comes to her and says, hey, if you don't pay the money you owe, we're going to take your sons in exchange for payment. And like any mom, she is so upset. She doesn't want to lose her sons, does she? So she goes to a prophet named Elisha, and she says, please help me. What do I do? And he says, well, what do you have? And she says, all I have is this flask, a small jar of olive oil. And he goes, okay, this is God, what God is telling me to tell you to do. You're going to go, you and your sons, you're going to go to all your friends and neighbors, and you're going to say, Give me your empty containers to borrow, and then I want you to take all those containers home, and I want you to shut the door behind you, and I want you to take your olive oil jar and pour into the others. And so they did that, and they took their one jar of olive oil, and they poured, and they poured, and they poured, and then all the jars were full. And she said, well, now what? And he said, you're going to take those jars, and you're going to sell them, and you're going to pay your debt off, and you're going to get to keep your sons. And you know what? You're going to even have more than that, and you and your sons can live off that. Is that an incredible story of how God provided not only what they needed, but even a little more? Yeah. Okay, so here's my challenge. As we go into the holidays... We can look at a lot of things we want, right? Candy at Halloween, yes. Toys at Christmas, yes. Some wants are not bad, okay? But if you look too much and focus too much on your wants, you miss the blessings that God gives us. Now, Eliza and Heidi, will you help me? And hopefully we have enough. We have such a big group. If we don't have enough, I'll bring some more next week. So what they're going to hand out are little notepads. In the next few weeks, I want you to use this notepad 
Listen to me, sweet friends. I want you to use this notepad to write any little or big blessing God puts upon you or your family. Okay, so no blessing is too big or too small. Hey, friends. Okay. All right. So we're going to write our blessings in this, and that way at any time that you feel like maybe you're alone or don't have something you need, you can go back and look and remind yourself of how God is providing for y'all. Okay. Can we wrap up with the prayer? How many people didn't get one? One, two, three. Okay. Miss Gwen owes y'all four. Okay. I will bring four next week. Okay? All right. Would anybody like to pray for us? Is your name Alice? Alice, I was told that you would be the perfect person to pray today. Let's bow our heads and hear Alice's prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the family and teacher. Now my family and friend. And bless the children. Amen. Amen. Good job.